uh, Dancing with the Stars is so successful, it has to impact the local dance studios. So we got an expert here from Arthur Murray, Stephanie Pratt's going to tell you all about it. Make her welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> Stephanie Pratt. Hey, Stephanie. We love our Stephanie. Yes, I'm, I'm good. How are you doing, Stephanie? Well, don't you look nice? Thank you. You're very nice. Thank you. Um, I, I, did I mention on the phone that uh, my good friend Lisa Barhorst, who runs Vice President of Fox 40, Fox 45 and ABC 22, her hobby is ballroom dancing. Yes, you So do. when I had her on, we showed a clip of you know, her mm -hmm. dancing. So I, I got to thinking, well, a successful, especially with the last winner, a guy who can't hear, yes. it's amazing. And she explained how she taps on his shoulder for the rhythm. Yes. It has to impact some of the local dance studios. So yes. I called Arthur Murray and said, uh, I'm gonna have you guys on to see how has it changed and how, what impact has Dancing with the Stars had on the local studios? Well, I will tell you, when Dancing with the Stars first came out in 2005, it was one of those summer pop-up shows. We thought, ah, oh, this will be kind of cool. Yeah. Kelly Monaco won it, John O'Hurley, everybody had a big heart attack. When he didn't win, now we have to have a little recontest. Yeah. And the show just kind of exploded yeah. from there. And here we are 10 years later, okay, mm -hmm. still doing Dancing with the Stars. And when the show first came out, people were coming in saying, hey, teach, I want to learn how to dance like that. Yeah. And let me just tell you, we do everything they do on Dancing with the Stars. We just do it with a little less spray tan and a little more clothes. <laughs> okay? <Aww>. So <laughs> we can do everything. Well, that's no fun oh, stuff. Oh, but it is. I was oh, going to wear my is. Speedo over there. <laughs> well, we, you know, we might ask you to like um, okay. help us out a little bit on that. So. Um, we, people came in and said, hey, teach me how to do that. We said, absolutely. And that has evolved. Probably 40% of our clientele certainly come in because some catalyst of some sort has brought them in. Usually it's an event, a wedding, a party, something like that. Teach me how to dance for that. But the biggest thing now that Dancing with the Stars has done is it has shown people how good dancing is for your health. And you're a big health proponent yes. here, big proponent of, of good health. Uh, there are two things that have been proven to stave off Alzheimer's. And those two things are involvement in community theater mm -hmm. and ballroom dancing. Are two things that have been proven to help stave off Alzheimer's. Also, uh, ballroom dancing is a fabulous workout. If you notice every season on Dancing with the Stars, they talk to these stars. How much weight have you lost? How much weight have you lost? Yeah, people want to know. That They want to know. And that's <clears throat> not um, a gimmick, if you will, that put on by the show. Uh, you really do lose a lot of weight when you start dancing. If you keep it up, certainly, and if you practice and persevere, you are going to be able to keep in good physical shape. Dancing is <clears throat> a huge Trust me, because I do it. It's a huge aerobic workout. Oh, yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> People say, oh, that just, that's kind of easy, you know. There's a reason that the Dancing with the Stars numbers are about 30 to 60 seconds. Because mm -hmm. when you're dancing that hard, you get winded very easily. Very, so it's a huge cardio workout. It's wonderful. Even, even the smooth dances. The waltz, the tango, the foxtrot, some of these are a wonderful, they're all a different type of workout, but even those are a very definite workout for you. It's great. Um, I would think, of course I could be wrong, mm -hmm. and that's the women who say, honey, let's go take lessons. Oh, I want to do that. But since Dancing with the Stars has been on the air, uh -huh. he's thinking, well, that might be okay, you know, because... You know? It's like remember the old TV show Fame. Yeah. All the kids went to the <clears throat> all the kids went to this talented school. Absolutely. And they wore the backpacks. Yes. Every kid in every school had to have the backpack. Right. Because they saw it on TV. Right. Here's Dancing with the Stars. There again. Yes. That's I guess it's cool then. It, I guess we should go. It's you know it it's <clears throat> wonderful. It's a social event. Uh, you know, you said you're guessing that most of the time it's the women who bring their, Men, their husbands right. in or their boyfriends in. Um, I'm not going to, you know, probably, but we have just as many students who the men are like, I want to go learn to do that. Come on. Mm -hmm. And 
it, you know, it's what it's, I just can't say enough about it. I just cannot say enough about it. And particularly the people who come in to do some sort of event, a wedding or whatever, most of the time they come in saying, just teach me how to dance for my wedding. That's all I want to do. Yeah. Or teach me how to do the father daughter dance or, you know, teach me how to do the mother son dance. And they wind up staying. Wow. Forever, you know, wow, they never let great. it go. <clears throat> they never let it go because they come to love it so much. We have a couple there right now um, where she was the one that said, "Oh, please, let's go learn to do that. I've always wanted to do that." And now he likes it more than she does. He never misses. Wow. Never. Sometimes she has other things to do, but he never misses. So yeah, it's it's great. It, I I just cannot say enough about it. Come on out and join us. Well, I would imagine when you have these newer classes that mm -hmm. friendships can absolutely people. Uh, we're going to a great class tonight. You said, "What are you guys going to do this evening when the class is over?" Oh, we're going with Fred, Susie, and Allison and George. We're all going out to eat. New friendships can absolutely develop at, at the dance club. I would think. Well, we do. Um, actually, Arthur Murray is like a big family. Um, when Arthur Murray Franchised Studios began in the 1920s, there were over 3,000 studios throughout the world, okay? Now, there are um, right around 270 studios. They are all franchised. Actually, Arthur Murray is the second oldest franchised company out there. Um, he began his franchising business in the mid-20s. A&W root beer, that frosty mug taste, yeah. <laughs> uh, began in 1919. So they are the oldest. But Arthur Murray is like a big family. We have dance events throughout the year. We go dancing in Las Vegas. We go to New Orleans. We go to New York. Sometimes we go out of the country. We go to Europe. Sometimes we go, uh, we've gone to Brazil in years past. It's like a big family. Mm -hmm. Also, when you are part of the Arthur Murray family, if you are here in Dayton and you live in Dayton part of the year, and then you may live out in California, you may live in Florida another part of the year, you have the ability to go to these other studios because you're part of the family and take lessons there. So it's a huge family. We build um, strong relationships, a lot of friendships, and you're right, a lot of dinners. Is lot there of... a Mr. Pratt? There is not. There is not? No. Um, I'll bet you yourself have made some really good friends. I have made classes. some very wonderful yeah. friends uh, that I have had for many, many years and will keep for many yeah, more. That's super. Yeah. I figured it would have an influence. That's what I wanted to know. Absolutely. And a positive. Influence. Very positive influence. I was yes. surprised when you said that uh, sometimes the men bring the women. Yes, Norm, they you do. think you could go there and dance? Well, I could go there. I don't know about the dance Yes, part. you can. You look. don't think you could do a foxtrot? <laughs> you foxy animal, you. If you, you could. Come, look, if you come walking into Arthur Murray today, we will have you dancing home. There oh, you go. That. Okay. Absolutely. I'm going to sign that up. Like a and, when the cops, <laughs> yeah. and when the cops pull you over because you're driving and doing right this same time, explain to me you've been to Arthur Murray. You have not been drinking, okay? okay. Right. Uh, Stephanie, thanks for coming. You Thank enlightened you. all of us. Great. Good I'm glad. job. Thank you. You did good. I don't care what anybody else says, kid. <laughs> you did you. good. <laughs>